Hey guys, got another knife review for you here. And I am outside, so uh, sorry for any background noise that may occur. There are some motorcycles and kids out playing and stuff, so hopefully I won't pose too much of an issue. Uh, this is the Benchmade 10610 Benchmite 2. And this knife was discontinued along with the entire uh, Benchmade Red Class line. This was a Red Class knife. Uh, but there is still some uh, Harley-Davidson uh, versions of it out there. Uh, those are actually money clips, um, so I'll talk about that. But uh, this is a very unique little knife, and kind of what makes it so unique is this levitator lock, which locks it both closed. Uh, when it's closed, you can't open it, and once it's open, it's locked again. So a very safe knife. It's not going to open accidentally on you. Um, this could be used for like a keychain knife, you know, it's, it's not going to open up on you at all uh, while it's on your keychain, and it's, it is smaller. However, to me, kind of the ideal keychain knife is something more like a Victorinox Classic. Um, this is actually a classic with the addition of one of those, but basically this is a classic, and to me this is a little more ideal. You get a lot more tools out of this. It's a little smaller. Um, so, you know, for a keychain knife, this is kind of the standard, in my opinion. Um, so this is a little bigger than a keychain knife. To me, this is something I'd put maybe in, like, my watch pocket. Uh, or just slip in, in my pocket of my pants, because there's no clip. So it could kind of be like a gentleman's folder. Uh, maybe if you work someplace where, um, you know, it, it, you maybe can't carry a larger knife with you. Maybe more along the lines of something like a Spider Comanix 2. Maybe if, if you just, there's no way you could carry this in your workplace. This thing is pretty, um, it's not all that intimidating. So, um, you know, maybe this is a better option. Now, the current, the Harley Davidson version of this is also a money clip. So, that that's another, you know, way you could use it as just a, a money clip. Now, the, the way this lock works is kind of interesting. You have... To uh, open the knife, you have to push down right here, and you see that that lifts this portion right there. Now that portion just has a little detent that that goes down in the blade. So when you lift it, it lets the blade free, then it locks and it goes back down. Pretty simple, kind of cool. I think it's a relatively strong lock. You see there is the part that's moving. I think it's relatively strong. And uh, very unique. I like that. It's it's kind of a cool uh, addition to any collection if you're uh, if you're a collector. Steel that was used on this was Aus 8. It's not the most high quality steel, but I think it's it's a good all around steel. I think people are generally pretty familiar with it. Um, so you know, reasonable steel, hollow ground blade. Um, it was a McHenry and Williams design, made in Taiwan. And this, this was red glass, so, you know, that's not the U.S. manufacturing. That was kind of their lower end. All stainless steel handles. When this was sold, I think it was going around 25 bucks. Um, which I thought was pretty reasonable. You know, kind of a cool, unique lock mechanism. De good quality throughout. You know, it's still a Benchmade, even if it is red glass. So cool little knife. I'll give you a size comparison to some others. Um, sorry if I'm tempting you. I mean, you can't you can't ha you can't get these anymore. Uh, maybe you could find them on the secondary market. So that's Manix 2. Here is a Spyderco Cat. There's the new G10 version of those out. That looks kind of cool. This is the old carbon fiber one. Um, this is the a um, mini paraframe by Gerber. It's kind of a similar size. Here's the Gerber Ridge. I don't know. Maybe the uh, Kershaw Chill. Skyline.
So, cool little knife. I, I, I definitely like it. I don't really carry it anymore now that it's discontinued. It just kind of stays in my collection. But, um, you know, I, I, I just like it for its uniqueness, really. So there you go, guys. I hope that was helpful, um, informative. If you have uh, any questions at all, feel free to, uh, to ask in the comments. I'm uh, happy to help you guys out. And um, everyone have a nice day.